Okay, so we're going to find the volume created by y equals root x, the line x equals 2, and y equals 1, rotated around the x-axis by cylindrical shells. And I only want to do the setup. In order to do this, a diagram will really help a lot. And so here is y equals root x. And x equal to 2 here. And y equal to 1. And the line y equal to 1 is going to be, well, here. So I want to take this little tiny region here and rotate it about the x-axis. I'm going to rotate it here by cylindrical shells. So if I'm going to do it by cylindrical shells, I'm going to make my little rectangle parallel to my axis of rotation, which is the x-axis. I'm looking for this. So that means I am doing it dy's. And I'm going to do the dy's. Cylindrical shells means 2 pi. Well, here is 1. The top value here is the square root of 2. That's the y value there. And now I need to find 2 pi times the radius. Well, here is the radius, and that is just simply y. The height of my shell is going to be 2 minus this value. So it's 2 minus this curve, but this curve has to be switched around in terms of x, so it's going to be x is equal to y squared. So it's 2 minus y squared dy. That will find me the volume of this little shape around the x-axis. Okay, b part then, I want to do it around the line y equals to 3. Well, let me redraw this picture so that we don't get confused, because it's confused enough as it is. So here is my axis, and we'll do here cube, y equal 1, 2, 1, Again, and I'm going to rotate it about the line y equals 3, which is somewhere up here. This is y equal to 3. And again, I want to make my little rectangle parallel to the axis I'm looking for, so it helps me recognize I'm doing dy. The cylindrical shells is 2 pi, and I'm going to go again from 1 to root 2. My radius, though, when you think about this, the radius is going to be here. And so I know that this, is, this distance here is y, this distance here is 3. So my radius is 3 minus y. And the height of my particular cylindrical shell is going to be 2, 2 minus uh, y squared, equal to x, 2 minus y squared. And that there will give me the volume of the region I wanted to. Good luck.